a lot of people ask me how they can customize and make changes to the home page of their blog and it's all done in the uh, PHP it's all done through the PHP and HTML on the home.php file so if you don't know HTML I don't recommend going in there but it's not rocket science so even if you have a basic knowledge you can move this stuff around and I'm going to show you a little bit about the home.php page which will cut down your learning curve a little bit so you'll know what to do to customize things a little bit. Now I've already done a video on the sidebar so that's a separate thing but for the home.php you want to log into your WordPress admin panel go to appearance and editor and then um, you want to go to the home.php file. Now the way this thing is set up, it's set up pretty simply. I mean it's basically it's got this uh, rotating photo gallery thing. It's got a short thing on the left and another one on the right and then on the bottom I usually put the products. So if you look through the home.php file you'll see th at the very top this um, home page section this is the call for the, uh, it's actually all down through here too, for the featured content gallery plugin. So unless you want to get rid of that whole thing, you, you want to leave this top section alone. Then we get to the, this home page left, and, and that is um, this section right here. S and uh, you'll see this whatever the, whatever the heading is, you know, it's going to be different depending on your blog. And um, also actually in another video um, I talked about fiddling with the colors and that's how you can change these H3 tags and what these headlines look like. Um, and this, the way this is, is it's you tell it what category to pull in and how many posts to make. And you can see this is cat is category equals four. Now on this blog, um, oh, I screwed that up. It, you know, it's going to be a different number on each blog because it goes by the secret WordPress number that is assigned to your category. And the way you figure that out is you go to the categories section here, and all the categories are listed. And when you put your mouse over it down on the very bottom on this bar right here on the bottom you'll see it comes up with a line and at the end it says ID equals 3 for this one that's the secret number so gluten free is and this ID equals 4 and the products is 6 so that's how you know what you can put on the home page how you can pull in the different categories so back to home.php so you've got that now um, basically all this is is let's get back to the so you, it tells it pull in category 4 and show one post if you wanted to show five posts just change this to five this tells it to pull in a thumbnail um, I have another video somewhere on here about thumbnails I usually don't use them because it's too it's a pain in the butt because you have to actually put format the thumbnail properly, put it in the post, add a category, add a, I mean a featured uh, section for it. It's just easier just to not have them. Um, but if you're interested in them, look for that other video on how to add a thumbnail. This is um, the code that pulls it, pulls it in, the thumbnail, and then um, we've got the title. You know, this is all just regular WordPress stuff here. And this is what tells it right here to only pull in 300 characters. If you wanted these posts here to be longer, if you wanted more wor words or characters, you could tell it to pull in 500. If you wanted less, 100, however many you want. This thing here has a little bookmark at the bottom. Read the rest of this entry. Change it to whatever you want. Or get rid of it if you don't want it. This border is the little, uh, the little dots. And, you know, this is the end of each section. You want to be careful with this end while and these divs because if you delete one, you know, and you don't have a matching end div for a beginning div, it screws up the whole format. And the home page right on the right side, that's this right here. I mean, it's basically the same thing. You've got your header, you've got your category that it pulls in, the number of posts, and so on and so forth. Then on the bottom, 
I usually put the products. So right down here, you see uh, the products. It's the same thing. It put, you tell it what category to pull in. You tell it how many posts. So if you want more products, you can just increase this number. If you want less, decrease it. Um, same thing with the thumbnail. Of course, you wouldn't have a thumbnail with these Amazon products. It automatically pulls in the picture because this picture is actually the first thing in the actual post. That's how this bottom section works. And you'll notice that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have the thing that designates um, how many characters. It's because this is a different function within WordPress. And this pulls in actually the entire post, which is how I get it to pull in the picture of the uh, Amazon product. And then you get your little dots at the bottom and then the end. And then the next, the last call is the, for the sidebar. So that's it. That's how you can edit your home.php. Um, oh, one other thing you might want to do is <coughs> up here on this um, menu, I force it to only display the things that I want it to display because the problem is it's short, so you can't fit a lot of things. And if you add more, um, these are, if you add more pages to it, it will wrap down into here and it just creates this big blob up at the top. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good to have it be more than one line. So if you want to fiddle around with what is up there, you can go into the header.php and way down near the bottom is this line right here. And this is where I tell it to include just certain cat certain categories. So I tell it to include three, four, six, and seven. You know, it's you go in the same way um, I showed you before by getting the secret number of the category. So you can include any ones you want in here. You can also you'll notice uh, it has a link to the home page, and that's actually <coughs> just coded in there. So if you wanted to link to something else, maybe another blog or a particular post, you could just actually code in exactly what you want. This right here has the WordPress function for getting the home page, but you could just actually put, you know, this is your A uh, for the link right here. You could just actually put whatever, HTTP colon slash slash www.mylink.com. And... Uh, you'd actually would want to end that. And then you could, and then it would link, you know, put whatever you want here for the anchor text and it would link wherever you want. So that's pretty much it. That's how you customize the home page. Um, the posts and pages really aren't, I mean, they're just very basic, so I don't think it, you, you don't need to do anything to customize those. The only other thing is the sidebar. And like I said, there's another video for that.